Dragons, perhaps best known for having a name that rhymes with the word wagon, and for popping up in that show, Game of Something. I don't know. Dragons are as cool as Lando Calrissian. They're big. They have wings. They can breathe fire. Sadly, they're not real. Or aren't they? Let's waste 10 minutes dubiously trying to prove they might actually be real. From a dragon in Malaysia to a dragon in Texas, here are five real pieces of evidence that dragons are still alive. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. With that being said, let's begin. Huh? Hmm. Number 5. Malaysia Dragon A dragon is a large serpent-like legendary creature that appears in the folklore of many cultures around the world. Beliefs about dragons vary drastically by region, but dragons in Western culture since the High Middle Ages have often been depicted as winged, horned, four-legged, and capable of breathing fire. Dragons in Eastern cultures are usually depicted as wingless, four-legged, serpentine creatures with above-average intelligence. The earliest attested dragons resemble giant snakes. Dragon-like creatures are first described in the mythologies of the ancient Near East and appear in ancient Mesopotamian art and literature. Stories about storm gods slaying giant serpents occur throughout nearly all Indo-European and Near Eastern mythologies. Famous prototypical dragons include, and I am going to pronounce this wrong, so apologies, Mashusu of ancient Mesopotamia, Apep in Egyptian mythology, Vritra in the Rig Veda, the Leviathan in the Hebrew Bible, Python, Ladon, Wyvern, and the Lernaean Hydra in Greek mythology, Jormungandr, Neohagr, and Fafnir in Norse mythology, and the dragon from Beowulf. Wow, I better pronounced most of those words wrong, huh? The popular Western image of a dragon, as winged, four-legged, and capable of breathing fire, is an invention of the Middle Ages, based on a conflation of earlier dragons from different traditions. In Western cultures, dragons are portrayed as monsters to be tamed or overcome usually by saints or culture heroes, as in the popular legend of St. George and the Dragon. They are often said to have ravenous appetites and to live in caves, where they hoard treasure. These dragons appear frequently in Western fantasy literature, including The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling, and A Song of Ice and Fire by George R.R. R. Martin. The word dragon has also come to be applied to the Chinese Lung, which are associated with good fortune and are thought to have power over rain. Dragons and their association with rain are the source of the Chinese customs of dragon dancing and dragon boat racing. Many East Asian deities and demigods have dragons as their personal mounts or companions. Dragons were also identified with the Emperor of China, who, during later Chinese imperial history, was the only one permitted to have dragons on his house, clothing, or personal articles. But were any of these dragons ever real, or were they always just the stuff of legend? And if they were real, is there a chance some might still be alive today? Well, if these photos are anything to go by, dragons may not have just been real, they might still be. We'll be going over five examples in this video that show possible evidence of dragons, and these photos are our first. These photos come from Perak, and they come with a story. According to Malaysian website Hype.my, the original photographer found this small dragon in their house. In a panic, he shot it dead. If you look at the small dragon's stomach, near the top legs, there is a notable small splash of blood. Apparently, the man had been on high alert for a long time. He keeps rabbits, and for several months now, he had been waking up to find several of his beloved bunnies eaten in the night. Because of this, he had been sleeping with a shotgun by the bed, anticipating having to kill whatever was eating his bunnies. On this night, he was awoken by a sudden squeal in the early hours of the morning. He knew what had happened. The mystery creature had plunged its teeth into another rabbit. Jumping up from bed, he grabbed his shotgun and charged down the stairs. The second he saw what he thought might be the culprit, he aimed and fired. But once he looked at the dead creature laying limp on the floor, he was shocked to his core. He was expecting something like a fox, not whatever this thing is. His theory was that it was some kind of baby dragon. It certainly looks like one, but what do you think? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. Or don't, it's your life. Number 4. China Dragon Our second clip was filmed in the skies of China. Dragons are a huge part of Chinese culture. Chinese dragon, also known as East Asia dragon, or Long, are legendary creatures in Chinese mythology, Chinese folklore, and East Asian culture at large. Chinese dragons have many animal-like forms, such as turtles and fish, but are most commonly depicted as snake-like, with four legs. They traditionally symbolize potent and auspicious powers, particularly control over water, rainfall, typhoons, and floods. The dragon is also a symbol of power, strength, and good luck for people who are worthy of it in East Asian culture. During the days of Imperial China, the Emperor of China usually used the dragon as a symbol of his imperial strength and power. 
In Chinese culture, excellent and outstanding people are compared to a dragon, while incapable people with no achievements are compared to other disesteemed creatures, such as a worm. A number of Chinese proverbs and idioms feature references to a dragon, such as, and this is simplified from the original Chinese, hoping one son will become a dragon. But do dragons really exist in China? If these photos can be trusted, quite possibly. And that's terrifying. They were taken by a man in the Jiangxi province of eastern China. He claims to have captured these photos in the skies above Fuzhou. He was driving home when he noticed several people staring at an object in the sky. Curious, he pulled over to have a look for himself. And that's when he snapped the picture. In it, we can see two strange wispy figures among the clouds, one clearly darker, one more visible than the other, perhaps two parts of the same serpentine beast. The event only lasted several minutes before the mysterious figure vanished, leaving everyone at the scene puzzled. What had they just witnessed? Could it have been a dragon? Or is the photo nothing more than an odd cloud formation? Or maybe something else? Let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. Number 3. Texas Dragon But it's not just China where you might find a dragon. There's even been one spotted in Texas. Yes, really. This remarkable video was captured in Dallas. Take a look. It genuinely seems to show a dragon going for a peaceful glide through the sky, gently making its way along. It even stops briefly by the top of an electric tower. This dragon is oddly peaceful, oddly gentle. I mean, Texas is known for a lot of things. The best barbecue ribs in the world? Check. The Brazos wind farm? Check. But dragons? Who knew? It swoops through the sky on a cloudy and rainy day. It's visible on camera for just a few seconds, and the footage is so shaky we have to assume the camera operator was bouncing on a trampoline. But whatever it is, it is very clearly dragon-shaped, and that's all kinds of terrifying. When this clip was first posted on YouTube, it garnered a lot of attention. Some person, going by the name Multi Alansky, wrote, The world is going to change drastically very soon. Frozen creatures are coming out from under the ice and will be seen more often. Meanwhile, another commenter, going by the name Puffboy, wrote, Hi, some differing levels of engagement there. The shadowy nature of the dragon as it soars by has got some people doubting the validity of the clip. What do you think? Number 2. Somewhere Dragon Frustratingly, we don't know where this clip was filmed. Unlike the other clips and photos in this video, we have almost no info on this footage whatsoever. Annoying! Who films something like this and doesn't upload it with as much context as possible? If I filmed this, I'd want to give everybody all the details I could. The footage, which we found on the YouTube channel Paranormal World, starts off with someone filming a panning shot of the frosty area they're walking through. It's pretty. It's a nice place. As the camera pans, we see somebody else up ahead. It's probably safe to assume they're with the camera operator. Maybe they're a couple. Maybe they're cousins. Maybe they rob banks together. Maybe they're all three of those things at once. To be fair, figuring out the nature of their relationship is not why we're here. Why we're here is because of what happens next. She turns around, gesturing to the camera operator, trying to get him to move on up ahead. But as she does, something soars past in the sky. Something way too big to be just a bird. Something way too low to be just a plane. After just a few seconds, it swoops down behind the nearby trees. The man points, freaking out. But it seems the woman saw nothing. He frantically races, camera in hand, desperate to try and find it, to get another shot. Swinging on round just behind the trees, for a split second, he catches it sat on the ground, before it takes off into the sky again. Obviously, clips like this will always be accused of being nothing but CGI. But I know nothing about CGI. I don't even know what the letters stand for, and I'm not going to research it because I'm tired and I want to go to bed. So that's why we've brought the clip to the attention of you guys. We would love to know what you think. Question 1. Is this real or CGI? Question 2. Where was it filmed? Question 3. What do you think their relationship is? I don't know why I'm so invested, but I am. Let us know in the comments below. Number 1. Disneyland Dragon Disneyland is a magical place, but ordinarily, this magic is achieved with a few strategically placed banners and a couple of underpaid actors in felt costumes running around smiling. But what if I were to tell you there was video evidence of a slightly different kind of magic at Disneyland? This clip, filmed on December 5th, 2012, during a private grad open party, seems to show an actual dragon soaring through the stars. Let's hope it's not Daenerys about to take out her anger on the House of Mouse. Now, maybe this is just some kind of display, a falsification crafted by the artistic geniuses who work at Disney, but we see a few problems with that theory. For starters, that dragon looks way too realistic. Disney is all about childhood joy. It's all about cartoons. Surely, if they were going to have a fake dragon fly through the sky, they would give it a cartoonish aesthetic, right? But secondly, perhaps most importantly, this was filmed at a private party, not some kind of grand event for the public and guests. 
Now, if this was some kind of huge event, we could understand why Disney might put in the effort and money to somehow create a photorealistic dragon to soar through the sky and dazzle the guests, but at a private party? Do you think dragons ever existed? Do you think they still do? Let us know. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen now. See you next time.